Welcome once again to Pete's Pans, where today's culinary pilgrimage has brought me to set on the Mediterranean coast of France to cook a tremendous dish of moule farci à la cetoise, stuffed mussels set style. Set is an important seaport, which also sits on l'étang de Tau, one of the string of salt water lagoons, which stretch all the way from the Rhone Valley to the Pyrenees, many of which are given over to conchiculture, the shellfish industry, mussels and oysters mainly. L'étang de Tau satisfies 10% of France's appetite for oysters, and these are branded under the name of Huitre de Bouzigue, oysters from Bouzigue, this charming lakeside village that provides the backdrop for today's recipe, moule farci à la cetoise. Set itself is a very attractive town, sitting on a network of canals, it's been called the Venice of the Languedoc. Ah, this place looks promising. But the bourride, another local speciality, a garlicky fish stew, was sadly inferior to my own. Check out my video recipe here to see how it should be done. Now down to business. It's Wednesday, market day in Set, and this seller has come from Lautrec quite a way, with the famous pink Lautrec garlic. Now there's an idea for a future video. Inside the covered fish market, I'm given a run through the recipe. And I'm told not to tie the mussels as, as used to be done in the old days, but to press them down with a heavy weight to prevent them from opening. Sauce tomate. Additionnel farci. Ouais, à la cetoise, non? Vous êtes les experts, je sais pas. Je suis. Je suis touriste. And here I'm informed that only the largest moule are used for stuffing. So as I say, large mussels, perhaps six or seven per person. Sausage meat or minced pork. Tomatoes and tomato paste to add some color and intensity. An onion, garlic and a bouquet garni of herbs. For the stuffing, bread and plenty of it soaked in milk. Some aioli, which I'll actually be demonstrating later in the video. Olive oil and white wine. Oh, nearly forgot the parsley for the stuffing. The onion is sautéed in olive oil, adding garlic once the onion is soft and turning golden. The tomato paste is cooked really well, almost toasted, to the point where it's drying out and beginning to slightly brown on the bottom of the pan. So you want to take it to a nice rusty colour. On top of this goes a glass of white wine. This is the local stuff, picpoule, from the banks of the lagoon, just right for shellfish. So a glass of this goes into the sauce, on top of the tomato paste and reduced by half. Next the pulp of the fresh tomatoes and let this cook for 20 minutes to half an hour. You'll need to remove the beard from the mussels and scrape them to remove any muck or anything else sticking to them. Best done under running water. So mix up a stuffing like so. Plenty of soaked bread is contrary to what you might expect. The bread lightens the mixture.
The mussels are opened with a blunt knife. I'm using an oyster knife. Be sure to collect all the water that they release. Now keep the shells attached to each other at the hinge. Just give it a little twist to break the ligament. This will really prevent them from opening in the pan. And fill each one generously with stuffing. Now there's the weight I mentioned earlier. The new method is to weigh them down. In the old days, as I said, they'd be tied, but apparently no one does this any longer. The moule should be just about covered with tomato sauce, so add a drop of water if need be. A flat plate, or here I'm using a tart base, is weighed down using any suitable heavy object. Now for the aioli. A clove of garlic is minced up really fine, forming a paste. And this, plus a little salt and a squeeze of lemon, are added to an egg yolk. and the olive oil is drizzled in ever so carefully to start with. After half an hour over gentle heat, the mussels are ready. Whisk in the aioli, et voila. Moule farci, exactly how they're done in set. The moule are traditionally served with boiled rice or potatoes. Well, that's it from Set for the time being, but do join me again as I pay homage to more local specialities from all over France, Spain and Portugal. Allez, bon appétit et large soif. <laughs>